it takes about 300 liters of water to wash your car at home. The average automatic car wash uses about 150. But the latest tunnel car washes are able to get the job done with less than 10. Not only does this new style wash recycle almost all the water it uses, it's also got the latest gear to protect your paint job. Let's see how it works. The tunnel car wash is a familiar machine. Spray nozzles soak, soap, and rinse. Fabric brushes do the scrubbing. Hot air dries the surface. But they have a few sticky problems that are tough to beat. Scuffed wheel rims from metal guide rails. Swirl marks from dirty brushes and water spots from the rinse job. The designers of this car wash wanted to beat all three of these challenges and save water in the process. It all starts here, where cars line up for the conveyor. The synthetic yellow guide rail sets up the front tires without leaving a mark or scratching the rims. They're made with ultra-high weight molecular plastic. It's got extra long molecules that weave together like a pile of spaghetti. With no open ends for anything to stick to, you get a slick, scuff-free glide like riding on a greased rail. Once on the belt, a sensor tells these rollers to pop up and push the car's back tire. Now it's time to start cleaning. And that's about more than shine. The dirt on a car actually increases aerodynamic drag and lowers fuel efficiency. To get rid of it in a way that doesn't damage your car is the goal of every wash. If a fabric brush picks up and holds onto dirt, it will grind it into paint surfaces. So this pre-rinse is designed to attack the dirt from every angle. A computerized timing system and a stream of compressed air controls the nozzles. The brains and lungs of this machine live in a back room. And it drives almost everything with air or hydraulic pressure, not with electricity. It's cheaper to run that way and a lot safer than mixing electricity with water. Even after the first layer of dirt is rinsed off, there's still a thin layer of hard-to-see stuff sticking to the paint. You need scrubbing power to get rid of that. And even dirt as fine as powder can scratch. Cloth brushes on the spinning wraparound system take care of vertical upper surfaces, while dangling cloth washers, called mitters, sweep up the gaps. The trick to avoiding scratches lies in the fabric. This fuzzy polyester can't absorb anything, so there's nothing that can scratch your paint. But it does trap suds between its fibers long enough to drop it on the car and wipe it away. Next, the spinning heads kick in for the car's lower panels. These ride close to the road and pick up a lot of grime that, if not handled properly, will scratch your car. Old-style spinners had hard bristles, lots of friction, lots of cleaning power, but because they absorbed dirt, they did lots of damage to paint. So today's tunnel washes use a soft foam material. These closed cell brushes resist water absorption and the dirt that comes along with it. Like the mitters, no dirt means no chance of scratching. Down here at tire level, dirt particles are at their heaviest, so the wash needs tough bristles to get them clean. The ones here are pre-worn, and only ever touch the tires. It's called a poodle brush. In a lot of car washes, you'd be hitting the dryers at this point. But this machine is about to attack performance-robbing dirt that gets trapped in cars' cooling systems and brakes. Dirt and bugs trapped in the grill can affect engine cooling. So these brushes give it a second wash. 
they spin opposite to each other to avoid damaging license plates. Then, some clever engineering attacks dust behind your tire's rims. It's called a pendulum washer. When the front tire hits this bar, it carries spinning washers along with it, blasting the hubcap and brakes clean without messing up your rims. The bar slips into this recessed area, then pops out to the back wheels to start again, just like a swinging pendulum. Momentum helps out with the final cleaning step. A small nudge from your car pushes up one last brush before the final rinse, where a soft rain shower takes off all the soap. By design, falling droplets land gently and roll away. And that means no water spots from splashing like you get in a regular wash. Finally, after 90 seconds of pounding action, it's time to get dry. These fans hit your car with intense air pressure. When ready, they slam open to blow off the water, which doesn't go to waste. Your car may be done, but this machine has one more job to do. Take care of that water. Almost all the used water flows through these grates into underground tanks. First, the dirt is filtered out. Then the water is sanitized before returning to the main storage tank. Up to 80% of the water is reused. This tunnel car wash has put a new spin on an old idea. By delivering a near-perfect clean while keeping cars and their drivers' reputations intact.